All right, gonna show you my favorite charismatic false prophet, my favorite charismatic cult leader, Kat Kerr, literally saying she's a prophetess, kind of like Jezebel in Revelation chapter two, saying that if you challenge you, if you challenge her, angels are gonna come kill you. Let me show you what some scripture says about this, but let me just show you the article first, where on Reformation in Charlotte, which of course I do have my issues with them, but uh, they got this really interesting article on the whole charismatic cult movement that it is. Charismatic prophetess says, if you challenge her, angels will kill you. Really, prophetess, right? Let's go to 1 Kings chapter 9 and verse 22. Actually, sorry, second, sorry, 2 Kings chapter 9 verse 22. My apologies. 2 Kings chapter 9 verse 22. And it came to pass when Joram saw Jehu, and, and that, he, that he said, Is it peace, Jehu? And he answered, what peace, so long as the whoredoms of thy mother Jezebel and her witchcrafts are so many? Nahum chapter 3 and verse 4. Uh, there it is. Because of the multitude, because of the multitudes, multitude of the whoredoms of the well-favored harlot, the mistress, mistress of witchcrafts, that sell the nations through her whoredoms and families through her witchcrafts. Revelation chapter 2 verses 21 to 22 or sorry Revelation chapter 1 verse Revelation chapter 2 verse 21 sorry Oops sorry Revelation chapter 2 verse 20 my apologies Notwithstanding I have a few things against thee because thou sufferest that woman Jezebel which calleth herself a prophetess to teach and to seduce my servants to commit fornication and to eat things sacrificed unto idols and I gave her space to repent of her fornication and she repented not behold I will cast her into a bed and them and them that commit for, commit adultery with her into great tribulation, except they repent of their deeds. So, so this charismatic prophetess, Kat Kerr, she's nothing more than just a modern day Jezebel. That's simply just she's seducing her followers with, with witchcraft and sorcery. That's all that it is. That's what that's what it all comes down to. Let's get right into this article. So, a charismatic false prophet says that uh, if you challenge her, angels angels will kill you. Kat Kerr, you may who you may remember last year falsely predicted that she was going to crush Hurricane uh, Dorian. And instead, Dorian took many lives. It's one of the is men, one of the most well-known prophets of the New Apostolic Reformation. The New Apostolic Reformation is a loose connection of false prophets and apostles fo founded by the late C. Peter Wagner, who band together to promote each other's fake signs and wonders and sell each other's books and defraud people for money. Love of, love of money is the root of all evil. 1 Timothy chapter 6, verse 10. This same Jezebel also claimed that thousands of angels wearing red and white, uh, of where, uh, thousands of angels wearing red, white, and blue, told her that Donald Trump was going to win the election. So we can be sure that that whatever voices she is hearing in her head aren't real angels, because and they pose no actual threat to anyone. Yeah, they're probably devil spirits, if anything. Uh, they quote Deuteronomy chapter 18, verse 22. Uh, now we got to ha now we now we got. That disclaimer out of the way. Brace yourselves. Kat Kerr now says if you challenge her, those same angels, those same angels that told her Donald Trump was going to win the election, are going to come after you and kill you. Sounds stupid, but it sounds stupid. It is, but she actually said it and warns they're big. <laughs> yeah, she says, I'll just say this. I live in Florida. If you're making noise to come and take me down, you'll have to face these 150 foot angels who are with me. I always have to give a warning. Uh, you will not live in a decision like that. The father, she said, told me he's not going to let anybody take my life, and that's not a challenge to you. That's a warning. That's what she says there. Uh, ridiculous, but that's that's her right there, the false prophet with the pink hair. But this is the kind of cultism that comes from the charismatic movement. The kind of wickedness. Oh, if you challenge me, you better watch out. It's funny they say you're blaspheming the Holy Ghost. Really, they're the ones who are blaspheming the Holy Ghost by faking these gifts of the Spirit and attributing them to the Holy Ghost. No, they're getting it from devil spirits. That simple. All these charismatic false prophets are totally devil possessed. Plain and simple. This is again more more wickedness from the charismatic movement. Don't be deceived by it. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye.